Race discrimination is becoming increasingly difficult to prove, not because it's happening less, but because employers are becoming increasingly savvy in how they discriminate in the workplace. It is an employee's burden to prove that the employer engaged in intentional discrimination because of the employee's race. This can be proven two ways, by direct evidence that discrimination motivated the employer's decision, or by circumstantial evidence that the reason the employer gave for their action is not the real reason. However, an employee doesn't have to prove that discrimination was the only reason for the employer's decision. Instead, they just have to establish that it made an actual difference in the decision the employer made. It is often difficult to obtain direct evidence of discrimination unless there are emails, text messages, or other very clear evidential support. Thankfully, there is a broad variety of circumstantial evidence that can be used to support a claim of race discrimination. This can include evidence of whether the person hired, promoted, or replacing the employee was a member of a different race, or the workplace composition, including whether there are not a lot of minorities working for that company. Another type of circumstantial evidence is disparate treatment, or policies and procedures of the employers being applied differently to members of different races. With the aid of an expert, it may even be possible to establish that microaggressions are a form of race discrimination in the workplace. However, the work of proving discrimination doesn't end there. If you are able to prove by circumstantial or direct evidence that you've been subject to race discrimination, the employer then has an opportunity to return with their legitimate non-discriminatory reason for taking the action they took against you. In that event, the burden shifts back to the employee to establish that the legitimate non-discriminatory reason given by the employer is pretext. That can be done by showing that the reason given is nonsensical or made up or would not have been applied evenly to a member of a different race. If you believe you've been subject to race discrimination in the workplace, you should contact an attorney immediately to determine your rights. And if it happened in New Jersey or Pennsylvania, contact us here at Gwongo Kalarula because if we can help, we will.